a 3-2. Five game set, going all the way. Looks like our players are just about ready. I'm excited. I, I just love watching K roll. It's so fun. Oh, yeah. The it energy is. of top eight is just different, man. It just oh, hits that is different. a fact right there. <laughs> it just hits different, man. It does. And it hits much different up on stage. You know, those players are feeling it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And uh, here we go with, of course, the ritual fist bump as we get a kick off right here. Oh, oh right nice. as the music. That's perfect. That was yeah, perfect. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. All right, K rule Sephiroth. You called it, Wombo. All right, there's that game one Sephiroth. Knew that was going to be coming out. And here, let's get it started on over on PS2. Yep. No game sounds. Yeah, no, no game, game sounds. sounds. We, we, we're, we're working on it, folks. We'll get those game sounds going. Yeah, I'm going to toss out that uh, crown right there. And that's going to be a huge defensible here for Kirby Kid. He does love to follow up as that crown comes back. And that's going to start him out with a big combo. Yeah, he always likes to get those follow-ups after those crowns. And it can get lethal results, honestly. And, it, it, he, and the good part about K. Roll, he can live forever, in this, especially in this matchup, to be honest. Like, yeah. yeah, Sephiroth has like a big, big hits. But that, that, that Gator can just live to like 200%. Let's uh, agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so heavy. And of course, uh, Sephiroth on the other side, just so light. Uh, so you see what we got going. And of course, that one wing are ready to play right now. Looking for the forward tilt. Uh, and, it, you know, you're going to see Nico try to poke and prod, just fit in as much as he can against that armor. Uh, that's going to be really, really important here in the matchup. Yeah, that armor can go through so many different things. Here we go. The crown off the stage. Going to be able to recover. The classic Kirby kid on the uh, platform. Oh. Suck. That's such a common thing that he does. And it's just so good. But the up smash coming Woo. out from Nico. Very, very good. Going to make it a two-stop game. Insert smash forward joke here. Yeah, that is <laughs> And uh, Nico hanging out on the left. Oh. Take it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it right there. Okay, all right. Zero percent. Sleeping. Zero to death, one hit, but oh, wow, Nico's right answering right back with that back air. And Nico absolutely trading right back on there. Says, you know what, sir? No, 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 this is top eight. I came from Houston. I drove two and a half powers. Let's do this. It hasn't even been two minutes in this match yet, and they're already on their last stock. Kirby Kid at 64% already. Yeah, Nico looking for the grab right there. Of course, there's that falling there. And you're going to see plenty oh. of that from Kirby Kid out of that safety that it has for it. And that, of course, that crown super armor is so good against that Sephiroth fair right there. Yep, and here we go with the one wing on, on deck for the rest of the match this time. Yeah, and you'll see Nico just continually condition with that forward oh, tilt. He wants that neutral get up. Here he is off stage trying to come on back. Oh, oh wow, no. the dash attack barely hitting the up B. And Kirby K takes game number one. Yeah, man, and he just extended a little bit past ledge right there, which was funny with that up B. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that he fully charged it right there because it didn't seem he was so low that he had right. to. Uh, so maybe he's trying to get a catch right there. But uh, here we go on over to game number two. And Kirby Kid uh, looking pretty looking pretty sharp here game number one. That was so exciting. I mean, Absolutely. what more could you ask for the first game of top eight? <laughs> There's the game sound. There it is. Hey, we found we're it. Looking for. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, yo. The uh, game sound just killed our ears at the, yeah. the commentary desk. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't need to hear. I Somebody just forgot to, to plug in the aux cable. Wait, what y'all say? I can't hear y'all now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, what a game. What yeah, a game. That that immediate trade back on those zero to death. That was crazy. Uh, just crazy, incredible stuff. But it goes to show the caliber of these players, right? To right. be able to turn it on. Switch that dial up to 10 and immediately just hit those types of plays. Absolutely. So amazing. So yep. we're in for quite a set, I can tell you that. Yeah. I'd say that's the difference in like a top eight or in pools. It's like, you know, if someone yeah. gets like a, an early kill in pools, they're pretty, you can pretty easily carry that lead and snowball it. Yep. In yeah. top eight, it can happen right back to you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool. That is a fact right there. And it looks like the players can be locking in their characters again. Do we have the same character? Uh, we're going to see K. Rule for Kirby Kid. We might see the switch to Cloud right here. I think we might. I think um, that, I can't tell. Again, I normally that first game for Nico, he likes that self route, he likes to gather the data, and then game, uh, you know, the games after that, he'll kind of hold it with Cloud. But if he's confident in the matchup, he'll keep with it. Right. All right, right. Sephiroth yeah. is There's coming Sephiroth. back. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can make happen in this game. That is facts, and I do think the Sephiroth is kind of working in that last game. So we're going to see how this works out in game number two of Kirby Kid versus Nico. Yeah, and going right back to the gentleman's PS2. The best stage of all time. I mean, forget box, four stock, no items, FD, man. This PS2 is the real gentleman. Always, stage. always. We've got a good dash attack. Going to get that tech, though. The Nair out of shield. Just the yeah. up throw to the Nair. The Sephiroth classic. Yeah, especially that low percentage. You want that up throw in the Nair. That's going to get you the most damage, but also the most combo potential. Of course, of course. The bread and butter is coming on out to play. Yeah, McCable being a big body, of course, easy to combo, even for a, a character like Sephiroth. Oh, gonna miss that back there, though. 
Alright, pushing him right back out there. Looking for the crown, but halfway across the stage. Not quite able to get it. Nico gonna poke and a great pivot forward tilt. Plenty spacing on it. Got it midway into sword. And what a what play the right heck there. was that? The C draw! Oh crown. my god. Am I watching Diddy Kong? Yeah. Oh my he god. Says, he says, I am the king around here with that Z drop into the down air. Great, great play from Nico. Yeah. Well, that was a good reaction with that down B. Gonna and put Kirby can in a weird situation going back to stage though. Nico really pulling ahead right here. Already got him at 73%. Definitely going to see the up throw. And that did yep. recently. And that uh, was the buff. buff. That was the buff. That was the buff. <laughs> yeah, that, that backbreaker is certainly feeling it right over here on the top three boost. But throws out the quick counter. And closing out that final uh, stock here. Only got one more to go. Wow, this entire set so far is just... Stock has been taking so fast. Like, two, not even two minutes again. Like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, Nico having a hard time returning to the stage. Going to uh, charge it up just a bit here. I love that falling up right there, just to cover that roll and also that jump back to the platform right there. So really important he continues to condition and control those options. Uh, but looking pretty solid right here and starting to build a little bit more damage with that down throw. Yeah, the down throw into the back, it was not going to connect though. There's that belly armor coming in, in, but does not matter with the jab. Yeah, we're going to snap it out. Here come the purple Skittles, uh, also known as Curse right there. Got him with the up throw. There's that back break. You're not going to quite close it out. Not just yet, but the fair will definitely close out that stock. Kirby Kid sitting at 69%. Nice. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> and there's that falling near, uh, converts it right into the fair. Only needs a couple more touches here, uh, but you'll see Kirby Kid continuously use that nair as he falls. Not only for the belly armor safety, but for conversions as well. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to be honest, I don't even think it matters what percent Kirby Kid is at because I will always say it's even whenever you're, it's you're battling Kirby. It's irrelevant. When you're battling Kirby. <laughs> I've never seen a player live to such high percents consistently, but uh, i got to say that's Kirby Kid's special power, man. I'm trying to run it. There's the back part of Crown. That was amazing DI coming out from Nico right there. Yeah, man. Really tried to convert it right here, but it would be absolutely huge if he takes this game and pulls ahead. Great falling here right there, just trying to pick up as much as he possibly can. Shield uh, those bears. That shield looking mighty tiny right now. Yeah, hold none to that crown though. You see, once you use that tool, very smart push uh, against that blunderbuss right there. Oh, 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 spot oh my god, that was amazing from Kirby Kid. Yeah, reaching those big crown balls up there. Catching that uh, short hop jump as he tried to drift away. I'm gonna close it out as Kirby Kid pulls ahead 2-0 right here. Looking pretty strong and able to pull it back every time he's really in that disadvantage. I think that's absolutely huge. The crowd is on their feet. That is fast so right there. I saw some Gator chomps from, from <laughs> Luis in the front row. Yeah, I didn't Get know this the was man. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, this, when that's a, that's, this is when that's acceptable here in Louisiana. It's All a right. big moment for Nico. He's got to decide what he's going to do. Sephiroth's now lost twice. Yeah, I think he's hovering over that cloud right now. Oh, I think the chomps. Might see it. The chomps are in oh, full look at force. The, crowd. the Kirby look Kid chomps. The there it is. The chomps are out today. There it is. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You love know, so to see it. Really in this situation. Kirby Dad makes a cameo Kirby, appearance. Yes. There he is, <laughs> Kirby <laughs> Dad. Kirby Dad cheering for his son. A very, very supportive fight. Let's go. Let's go, Kirby Dad. You gotta love it. I mean, you know, when I when I was a kid and I was playing Smash, like, you know, there weren't that many supportive parents like that that would right. take their people out <laughs> to go to tournaments oh, and support them. The, 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 the chomp! He's chomping Nico! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. Well, you can tell the crowd favor is out here right now. As we go to game number three, and we are going to see that switch to cloud. We'll see if it makes a bit of a difference here. And running it back on the PS2. Yep, let's get it right here. Already instantly charging that limit. Going to need to use that very, very much in this entire game. It's going to be crucial. I will say that right now. Absolutely. And a great hot Start here to Nico, just continuing to push him out. These up airs are catching him. Wow. He is going for a ride. Finally popped that armor just to make his way back down, though. Yeah, gonna go for the jab, jab, jab. Limit on deck. Oh my god, goes for the down. I guess the grab out of it, though. Yeah, that's a really tough situation for Nico because he wants to save that limit as much as he can, and he's forced for that air dodge or kind of that jump over. Even though he wants to use the limit, it's kind of like, oh, you took a ton of damage just to make it back to the stage there. Already sitting at 95%. Oh, my goodness. Wow, the wait for the get up into the dash attack was absolutely nuts. Okay. Yeah, just stand in there. And sometimes the most intimidating thing you can do is do nothing. Just stand and yeah. look at your opponent. <laughs> But yeah, you know, you instantly know when you make the work, the bad decision whenever you get up, of course. Ooh, now it's not going to quite fully connect there. Um, looking to close out the stock here, 150. Just having a hard time, man. Kirby Kid building some great damage on a block. Finally, he's going to get that back here. And you see where he charges limit right there. Super important, right, Cool? Mm -hmm. Yep, most definitely. And oh, oh my god, the reflected oh. <laughs> blade beam. Okay. 
Yeah, There's a little border. bit too far away. It's kind of questionable uh, decision making, honestly. And uh, here comes the Kirby uh, Kid special right there, falling through that platform with that blunderbuss. Oh yeah, always. And there's the combos coming out from Nico, having the limit on deck. But maybe get the kill with the fist. The oh with my the god! Fizzy, the, the tornado coming right on in. Wow, is this tornado alley? No, I didn't <laughs> think so. Yeah, but as I said, that limit gonna be crucial for taking kills, especially against Carol, oh. because he can't live forever. And oh my god, that back air dealing so much damage. Yeah. Might be it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely gonna do it right there with that down throw. Just at that high percent, there's no way you're gonna be able to match out that quickly enough. Yeah. Going for that side B, gonna miss that one though. There's the jab, jab, jab. The one more stock chance on Ooh. with uh, the Louisiana right now. Yeah, you can hear the croc is rocking here uh, with the crowd right now. Got that limit on deck though. Pretty even, in all honesty, even though the percentage is kind of relevant. Got to control that crown, though, but very smart play for Kirby Kid. Oh, barely missing that blaming, but it does not matter. Oh. The back air will take it for Nico, getting on the board. Yeah, finally there, and it does look like that cloud. He looked a little bit more confident there. His mm -hmm. movement was a little stronger. Uh, his ability to kind of throw out for the, some of those conversions, as you saw right there, uh, looked a ton better, a ton better. Yeah, and honestly, the limit usage, I love seeing it too. Always yeah. getting some kind of kill with it. Even even after missing the blade beam at the end, still just following it up with the back air. Yeah. Very, very good stuff coming out from Nico. And he purposely would charge it at those points where it's like he needed the limit at the exact right time and he would have it available to him. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're, running, we're running PS2, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, these players, no shy from playing each other, of course, going to PS2 to make it even, of course. Yeah, so I think the biggest thing here for Nico definitely just got to be really patient against that falling air. Respect it. Try to make that play afterwards. Um, and just respect the super armor in general. Yeah, for that double spot dodge. Pretty sure right there. Going to have the limit on deck. Does not matter. Kirby Kid just bullying him off stage. Wow. Coming down with that uh, LP right there, though. Going to hit him uh, with the end hitbox. So got a little bit of a pushback and patrolling the stage here. That's a classic cloud up. He got a shield. Yeah, you gotta love it, man. I and, mean, I mean, it's just free damage, honestly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Great spacing right there. Kirby Kid coming in with the Nair. Gonna pick up the spot dodge here. And he's got this spot off stage. Gonna pop that B early. Very smart recovery from Nico right there. I'm always scared when they do that because I don't know if they're like too far away from the legend. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And a great pickup right there. Got him with the back here, looking to close it out. That limit is on deck. This could be his opportunity to close out the stock. Gonna be it right now, having that limit, but still have you have to pop it. All right, there's the side beat. Gonna miss it sadly. Yeah, and you think he might have just used it as a delay tactic instead. Just more of that mix up. I, I don't think he felt confident, but hey, the spot out to the up smash. Who needs limit when you have up smash? Yeah, be real. Man. Up smash so quick here. Now let's even get some extra credit in before he loses the stock rolls inside. Gotta take the nair, but he is living quite well. Oh no! my god! Oh baby. my god! This kid is nuts, man. It's. Is this tag called Dyson? Because he's a vacuum cleaner out here, man. <laughs> There's the side B coming out. Good damage. The down air, the up tilt. There's yeah. the up B. You know, you see it right here. He's much more patient with Kirby Kick coming out with that nair. He's just shielding it and making the punish afterwards. It's really paying off for him. Huge right here. Yeah, and again, same thing. Yeah, Cloud being able to have like a good option to punish the nair on shield. Good. The limit is here, too. There's the forward air. The yeah, hit him with the sour spot too. That move yeah. is just so big right here. Finally able to pick up that back air, and uh, he's got quite an advantage right here. Kirby Kid definitely gonna have to hold on tight, but uh, he is the master of comebacks. That's big. That is facts right there. Goes to the back air. Not gonna go down just yet. Max rage on Kirby Kid. Having the full limit all ready to go again. Yeah, the, I love the tomahawk right there. Really smart. Just yep. kind of that NT hop there into the grab. Uh, nice little play. And uh, hey, yeah. That's how oh, wow. to close it out. Living at 190 here. K Rule's got rage, man. Yeah. I low thought that uh, Blade Beam would take out a K Rule at 150, but I guess not. Yeah. Uh, but the back air will, though. Yeah, the, the back air will do it right here. And again, uh, Nico has almost a full stock advantage to work with here. I think the best thing for him, and he's doing it right now, to slow it down. Chip away, get that damage. Don't let Kirby Kid get those big conversions. Yeah, you really have to dodge Kirby Kid here because, I mean, yeah, he can combo you, but his combos are meaty. Absolutely. So you don't want to get damaged by K. Rool. All right, hopping right over that crown. Comes on down with the Nair. Nice little mix-up from ledge right there. That was really nice. Goes for the side B. Kirby Kid going to be able to make it back. Having a really good recovery. You know, having a hitbox on top of him while recovering. Not able to end guard him at all. Yeah, I think Kirby gets had a little bit of a spot dodge habit after that falling there. So Nico's just kind of waiting for it and going with a cross slash. So he's got those three hits to cover it. Let's see what he goes with the throw. Okay, goes for back throw. Wants a little bit of stage advantage. Oh, and that will do it. Okay. Nico 
having two points now. 2-2, two, two. one Ties more game. Up. Game five, that's right. We, we knew it was gonna be a close one. We knew it was gonna be a close one. Game five. So so what do you think uh, for Kirby Kid here, Cools? Like, what's the adjustment that he needs? So I think the adjustment that he needs, he just really needs to use that body armor way, way more frequently. Because like having it, you can like, you can even um, armor through a lot of the limit moves, to be honest. Yeah. And it, it's just it's just such a good option to have. You know, we saw him using uh, the crown a lot. And honestly, K. Roll being a heavy, he has the uniqueness of having zoning tools. He has the yes. crown. He has yeah. the neutral B. Definitely needs to use that a little bit more often for someone against Cloud. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, I mean, you know, Nico kind of sat more in that pocket, just played a little bit more reserved. So mm. I think it's really important that Kirby Kid applies that pressure. I think he kind of called it. Kirby Kid's doing that nair on shield too much, and it's getting punished pretty bad. Yeah, but I got to say, um, Kirby Kid a big fan of Town and City here, right? There's yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. He loves this stage. Able to kill really early, especially with that back throw at ledge. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very dangerous here. Nico uh, just using that great uh, spacing and disjoint. Uh, is going to take the fourth and air dodge just right into the blunderbuss, taking that full damage and the suck. He's going to be out and that limit's ready to go. See what he does with it. Not having that limit. Who knows when he's going to use it? It's very, very, a lot of mind games that happen with that limit. There is the fourth throw. All right, just gonna go for the raw back air, controlling that crown, throws it right at him and goes for the bleed beam too. Just trying to cover that low option there. So I like Nico constantly just eliminating those options and forcing Kirby Kid into those uncomfortable situations. Yeah, oh, hi there, platform. Come oh. on. Oh. <laughs> Kirby Kid catches one. Yeah, that up B is just, you know, it, it's Cloud's best friend and worst friend. It's great on stage, but awful off stage. That was a very good pairing. The up tilt to the, oh, God. oh wow. wow. Okay. Oh. I thought that was going to trade, but I guess not. Yeah, a hunger box DI? <laughs> I don't think he expected that to go straight up like that. Yeah, goes to the down air. Good spike into the jab. <laughs> yeah, Nico holding on right here. Oh, he's going to get grabbed. Yeah. There's the supermarket no, no. sweep. Oh, wow. Still, oh, I, I, okay, punish. okay. Still going to make it back, though. Cable recovery, really, really good. Good yeah. armor. That was a really big play for Nico right there, though. Like, that certainly shifted the momentum right here. And he's starting to carry it a bit more. Yeah, he's going to get a little bit of blade beam just to answer right back to that blunderbuss. And dealing with the crown so well. But finally, Kirby King going to push a little bit farther right oh, there. Oh, catching Hello. the air dodge with the blunderbuss. One more suck, baby. One more suck. All right, charging off right here on ledge. There's that tomahawk, but uh, Kirby King going to hop right over. And it, that'll be so safe, you just go to that top flat. Yeah, yeah, you just shield instantly right after that, up that uh, neutral air on shield. Be able to try to make it back, having the crown back. Yeah, picking up that roll right there. And just, I mean, against Cloud, while you're hanging on ledge, just back there, back there, back there. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that, that, back there is, is just so good. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the uh, hardest ledge uh, trapping to get through right there. Nico trying to work his way back to mid stage right here. No, and picks up the up the shield. Yeah. <laughs> Uppy. Last stack. Oh, man. Uppy with limit is just too, too good. Anybody's yeah. game. Absolutely here. 57%. Uh, Nico just going to hop right over. And you tell him he's just using that range of his sword right here, trying to create an opportunity. Blade Beam is going to sneak right in there, though. Yeah, you see Kirby Kick throwing these crowns with neutral bees until Nico approaches right there and oh. does punish so much. That might be dead. No, not just yet. Yeah, hanging on tight right here and trying to get the down air for the two frame. Not able to connect it. Gets a neutral get up here. And Nico trying to come on back. Yep, the get-up attack was very crucial there. Any other option, and he was gone. He goes in trouble! All Look right, I was going to get away with the up off that tech right there. Lays out the back here. Kirby Kid trying to come up back and just holding it very firm right here on stage. Oh, Fair is going to miss it. Spot dodges the grab right there. He goes sitting at 140%, and the dash tech. tech might be able to do it. But no, amazing, amazing, amazing on right here. They're going to figure out with the fair into that pivot up tilt. Oh, and the finishing touch. And Nico takes it 3-2 over oh. Kirby Kid. <laughs>